In this tutorial, we will explore the Modbus RTU protocol and learn how to implement it with Arduino. Modbus is a communication protocol developed in 1979 for use with programmable logic controllers, also known as PLCs. It has become a de facto standard communication protocol in the industry and is now commonly used to connect industrial electronic devices. Modbus RTU, which stands for Remote Terminal Unit, is a variant of the Modbus protocol that uses binary coding and serial communication to achieve high-speed data transmission. It is widely used in industrial environments for connecting equipment such as sensors, instruments, and actuators to controllers and computers, mainly over RS-485 serial interfaces. This is a humidity temperature sensor that works on Modbus RTU protocol. We will take this sensor as an example and learn in detail about the Modbus RTU protocol. We will write an Arduino code and use an RS-485 transceiver module to retrieve the Modbus sensor data. Apart from Arduino, we will also take a look at some examples of using Modbus RTU with an ESP32 microcontroller. Later, we can write a MicroPython code to implement Modbus RTU communication with Raspberry Pi Pico. For now, let's get started. Modbus is a serial communication protocol developed by Modicon in 1979, initially designed for Modicon programmable logic controllers for industrial applications. Over time, it has become a standard protocol used widely across various automation products to connect industrial electronic devices. Modbus is particularly useful for monitoring and communicating between intelligent devices, sensors or instruments, and for managing field devices using computers and human-machine interfaces. In a typical Modbus network, there is a one master device and up to 247 slave devices, each with a unique address. The master device orchestrates the data management and writes data to the slaves. Data transfer in Modbus is in the form of binary bits, zeros and ones, which represent positive and negative voltages respectively. These bits are transmitted rapidly between devices due to their small size. There are three main variations of the Modbus protocol. Modbus ASCII, Modbus RTU, and Modbus TCP slash IP. For this tutorial, we will only focus on Modbus RTU. The physical layer of Modbus RTU typically uses one of the three types of electrical interfaces, RS-232, RS-485, RS-422. For this tutorial, we will use RS-485 as a communication module. This is the MAX485 IC, which is a low power transceiver designed for RS-485 communication. This chip comes in two different modules, one with just a MAX485 chip and the other one with additional chip. This second chip has a logic level converter and automatic switching mechanism. For this tutorial, I will recommend you to use the second module. This is one of the temperature humidity sensors that work on the standard Modbus RTU protocol. We will be using this sensor in this guide. I purchased this sensor from AliExpress. The reason to purchase this sensor was only to use for this tutorial. This sensor will just cost you around $10 in case you want to start with Modbus protocol. We will interface the temperature humidity sensor with Arduino. By using the RS-485, we can use standard Modbus RTU to read the sensor data. It operates between 5V to 30V and has a default baud rate of 9600. All the registered addresses and the methods to retrieve the sensor data has been explained in the website article. These data are taken from the manufacturer's data sheet. This is the host query frame structure which we need to send as a request. In return, we get the response frame. From the response frame, we read the correct humidity temperature data. 
For example, if we send this chunk of data from Arduino UART pins, we receive these data as response. Now from here, the value of humidity and temperature is read in hexadecimal. We finally convert the values and get the correct reading. Here is the schematic for the hardware connection. The sensor A and B is connected to the A and B of the MAX 485 IC. And on the other side, the TX and RX are connected to D9 and D10 of software serial communication. The sensor and MAX 485 both are powered using the 5V of Arduino. I used breadboard to connect all these together using the jumper wires. Finally, connect the Arduino to your computer using the USB cable to power it on. Let's move to the programming part now. You can either use ready-made library for the Modbus communication or I will teach you another way to implement the Modbus communication without using the library. Let's first use this library. This is the Modbus master library created almost 8 to 9 years ago for implementing Modbus RTU communication. You can use this library over RS485 or RS232. This library has some examples to use the Modbus RTU protocol. First, download the library zip file and add it to your Arduino IDE using the library manager. In this code part first, add the Modbus master library. Then we use software serial for serial communication using pin 10 and 11. In the setup section, we initialize serial begin, then software serial and mode begin for mode bus communication with slave ID as one. In the loop part, we need two variables for humidity and temperature data. Using this function, we read two holding registers starting at address zero. You can get this register information from the dataset or instruction manual. If the read is successful, then we can process these two data using get response buffer. Here the reading is divided by 10 to convert the data into actual reading. Then we finally print the data in a serial monitor. These lines here are for error checking. You can upload the code now. Then open the serial screen. Here is the recorded data for both temperature and humidity. In case you want to observe the change in the reading, you can simply hit the sensor or introduce some vapors of liquid near the sensor. This is how you can simply read the register data using the standard Modbus master library. This is a simple way and easiest one. In case you don't want to use the library and go with the standard communication method, I have developed an Arduino code for that too. Again, we use the software serial library and use the pins 10 and 11 for serial communication. Here we define the slave address, function code, start address and registered count. This information is taken from the instruction manual as I mentioned earlier. In the setup section, we initialize serial begin and software serial for Modbus communication. Now, take a look at the loop part here. Using the information defined earlier, we create a request frame for Modbus communication. Then we send the Modbus request frame. Then the response frame from the slave device is read and we verify the CRC for error checking. If CRC verification fails, the error message is printed. Here is the method to construct a function for the Modbus request frame. Using these lines, we calculate and append the CRC to the request frame. This function that I created is used to send a Modbus request frame. This function is used to read a Modbus response frame. Now the most important part is CRC verification. For that, we create this boolean function and the extract of the received CRC. Then we calculate the CRC of the received frame. Here is the final function to process the Modbus response frame and extract the data. Then we calculate the humidity and temperature values and print them on the serial screen. In this function, the method to calculate the CRC of a Modbus frame is defined. This process is almost the same for all the Modbus RTU protocols. That's all from this code part. Upload the code to the Arduino board and open the serial monitor. As you can see here now, the data for temperature and humidity is read successfully. This is how you can implement the Modbus protocol with Arduino to read the sensor register data.
I have also ported this code for the ESP32 device. The code is the same, just the difference is pin mapping. This is the hardware setup to use the mode bus with ESP32. The same Max 485 transceiver chip and the same sensor are used here. After uploading the code, you can see the ESP32 is also able to communicate with Modbus Slave. The final part is porting the code for Raspberry Pi Pico. I have connected the RS485 chip and sensor with the Pi Pico serial pins. Then wrote this piece of MicroPython code. In case of MicroPython, the code is a little bit easy as we are omitting some functions for Modbus communication. Finally, run this code. Here we can see the temperature and humidity data read successfully. That's all for the video part today. Hope you understood the Modbus communication protocol successfully. In case you have any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.